slideshow. Greetings, esteemed students. I am honored to introduce myself as your new chemistry facilitator, Ms. Laura Muhammad. It gives me great pleasure to have the opportunity to share my passion and knowledge of this fascinating subject with you all. As an educator, I firmly believe that learning should be engaging and enjoyable, and I am committed to creating an environment that fosters these ideals. I aim to instill a profound appreciation for chemistry and to help you all succeed. I look forward to getting to know you all and to work with you to make this a productive and fulfilling academic year. Let us embark on this journey of discovery and learning with enthusiasm and dedication. The objectives of this PowerPoint slide is to cover the course framework, to go over the modern American system assessment criteria, and finally, to go over the components of the ACT chemistry test. Your ability to do well on the ACT chemistry subject test depends on the knowledge and skills you've gained from taking the high school chemistry course and your familiarity with the question format. The ACT subject test is the end of course assessment that rigorously measures your understanding of the course and indicates how well you mastered the course outline. The course consists of three main themes that will be directly assessed in the ACT chemistry subject assessment. The first theme includes an introduction to the chemistry course, which provides for assessing the basic units of measurement and stoichiometric calculations. The second central theme is the structure of matter, which includes details of the primary electronic configuration, as well as an introduction to chemical bonding. The final theme covers solutions in chemistry, which assesses acids, bases, reaction rates, and equilibrium. You will be assessed in two sessions, each with a duration of 45 minutes, adding to a total of 90 minutes for the overall exam. You will be required to solve 38 questions per session. As for the modern American system assessment criteria for high school students taking a scientific course, the first and the second assessment are worth 35% of the overall grade, and the end of the semester exam is worth 30% of the overall grade. The third and fourth assessments are worth 35% of the overall grade, and finally, the end of assessment exam is worth 30% of the overall grade. According to the current modern American system school grading, an A overall grade achieving 90 to 94% of the perfect score describes a proficient performance, and an A star overall grade reaching 95 to 100% of the ideal score represent an advanced performance. Assessments 1 and 2 for the first semester overall grade include tests and quizzes that are worth 20% of the overall grade, lab work, hands-on activities, participation in classwork, homework, and ACT practice, which is all worth 15% of this grade. The end of semester exam, which is worth 30% of the overall grade, will be assessed in one complete exam. The exact breakdown applies to the second semester. Further details on the components of the chemistry ACT exam includes the following. The introduction to chemistry unit, which is worth 30 to 50% of the overall grade, 
assesses the following key ideas. Introduction to chemistry, mass, volume, and density, elements, atomic mass, and nomenclature, the language of chemistry, formulas, equations, and finally, chemical equations and stoichiometry. The structure of matter, which is worth 20 to 40% of the ACT chemistry test, assesses properties of matter in gases and building models of matter. Solutions in chemistry, which is worth 20 to 40% of the overall grade, assesses integrating macroscopic, microscopic, and symbolic worlds, types of solutions, concentration, solubility, kinetics, equilibrium, and thermodynamics, salts, acids, and bases, redox reactions and electrochemistry, and finally, nuclear chemistry. I would like to remind you that education is the passport to the future for tomorrow and it belongs to those who prepare for it today. I would like to take a moment to express my gratitude for this attentive listening during this introduction. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the new academic year and I wish you all the best as you embark on this journey. Should you have any questions or concerns throughout this year, please do not hesitate to contact me via the email that is currently shown on this PowerPoint slide. I am always here to support you and to help you achieve your academic goals. I look forward to a successful and productive year ahead. Thank you.